A portable projector can be a fun home accessory. With a portable projector, you can turn any room into a media room, TV lounge, or even take binge watching outside. The Anchor Nebula Portable Laser Projector is a compact new gadget that's just landed in my test center. In this video, I'll show you what makes the Nebula special, how bright it is, and I'll also look at how it compares to another portable projector I recently reviewed, the Samsung Freestyle. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and I'd like to thank Anchor for sponsoring this video. Their support helps me keep the blog and the YouTube channel running, and for that I am really grateful. Even though they are sponsoring this video, they have not told me what I have to say or what I can't say about this projector, so you can consider these thoughts my own. Let's take a look at what you get. The Anchor Nebula Projector is an HD video projector with dual AC and battery power, meaning you can use it while plugged in or wirelessly. The device uses Wi-Fi to connect to streaming content using the built-in Android TV, so you can watch TV and movies almost anywhere. In the box, you get the cylindrical projector, which is similar in size to a pint can. There's a plug and a USB-C cable for power and recharging, plus there's a remote control with batteries included. There is an HDMI port in the rear so you can connect another streaming device like an Apple TV, Blu-ray player, gaming device, or even your laptop and get life-sized images. There is also an auxiliary port if you want to add an external speaker. The USB-C connection in the back is for power, but it can also be used for connecting a media player or hard drive. Setting up the Nebula projector is actually really easy. Plug it in or let it get charged up, then just press the power button. Your projector will turn on and the screen will show you instructions on how to pair your remote control so you can get started. From there, you'll get some basic setup choices, including an option to pair your projector with an Android phone to share passwords and content if you want. I was online and connected and with a functioning remote control in less than five minutes, so I was really impressed with how easy it was to get going. Now let's take a look at the key features of the Nebula projector. One of the most important factors for a portable projector is that it's able to project a very bright image even when daylight or ambient light is a factor. I can say with confidence that there are not that many projectors that can compete with a lot of light bleed. I recently reviewed the Samsung Freestyle projector and I found that with any kind of ambient or daylight in the room, that image was extremely washed out and not really visible. While the Freestyle uses LED light, Nebula uses laser light. Anchor says the Nebula's lasers are able to produce a brighter and more colorful image, and as a bonus, lasers don't burn out nearly as soon as LED or old school light bulbs will. I was quite surprised the first time I fired up the Nebula projector. The brightness level was noticeably brighter than what I expected and what I experienced with the Samsung Freestyle. I'm going to put these two projectors side by side to show you how they compare against each other shortly, but Anchor says the Nebula is 1.8 times brighter than an LED light with the same wattage. To see how these projectors stack up, I set the Nebula next to the Samsung Freestyle. The Nebula image is on the left. As you can see, they're both very closely matched. In a room with lots of light, they have a similar ability to compete with that light. In a dark room, and again the Nebula's on the left and the Freestyle's on the right, you can see the images are clear, colorful, and vibrant. The brightness levels seem to be quite evenly matched. Okay, let's get back to focusing on the Nebula. This is an HD or a high definition resolution video projector. Yes, you can get 4K or ultra high definition or UHD projectors now, but they do come at an extremely high cost. The HD video quality of this projector is really good. The video is clear and easy to see and the colors appear bright, vibrant and true to life. This projector is made to be portable. Its compact size and relatively lightweight mean you can take it with you to a friend's house or even use it outside. With a two and a half hour video playback time on a single charge, that's long enough to watch a movie under the stars if you want. I brought it over to a friend's house so we could watch an online lecture and it was easy to transport and easy to set up there. We connected to her laptop with HDMI and that made it easier than trying to watch something squished around a small laptop screen. 
Let's talk about the autofocus and keystone correction. Older projectors required you to manually adjust the focus every time you nudged the machine. Similarly, if you needed to project your image from off to the side or at kind of an awkward angle, this would have required manual keystone correction. With the Nebula portable projector here though, both focus and keystone corrections happen automatically. Just put the projector where you want to use it and give it a moment to adjust. I also appreciate that there's a black and white test pattern graphic that pops up while it's adjusting so I know the projector is actually working on it. In my testing, the projector was able to adapt to any number of different situations in my space and conveniently you can also use the remote control to make manual adjustments to the picture if you do need more specific control. If you're truly going to use your projector for a portable movie night, it helps if you can hear the sound. While some projectors have extremely small internal speakers or none at all, meaning you need to connect a separate wireless speaker option, with the Nebula there's a built-in 8 watt Dolby compatible speaker. The Samsung Freestyle by comparison, by the way, has a 5 watt speaker. The Nebula projector speaker wraps across the back and the sides of the device so it's able to project sound in a wider direction than some other projectors. The sound quality is surprisingly robust and it can even double as a portable speaker if you prefer putting on some tunes. If you kill the lighting array on the projector, you actually get a longer battery life. Using Nebula as a speaker only, you'll have about 10 hours of battery life. The speaker now does lean a bit more towards the high end of the sound stage and I'd love a little more bass in here, but it is actually quite a good speaker given that this is a projector and it's not meant to be a hi-fi gadget. The Nebula projector uses Android TV 11.0, which will be familiar to some. If you're more well versed in other TV operating systems, don't worry, it's easy to use and user friendly. It comes with all the important streaming channels like Prime Video, YouTube, and you can add other apps or channels too. So how does the Nebula perform indoors in a bright room? Now I will say trying to use any projector in an extremely bright space is usually a struggle. Projectors are generally designed to be used in darker environments. Even so, with a portable projector it does help if they have some ability to compete with ambient light so that you can truly enjoy them anywhere. Now with that caveat aside, I was actually surprised by how noticeably bright Anchor Nebula is even in a bright room. I spent a few days using the Nebula in my living room which gets a substantial amount of daylight. While washout is always a concern, I feel that the Nebula was bright enough for me to enjoy TV watching most of the time. In a fully dark room, naturally, Nebula shines, pun intended. In your media or gaming room with low or no light, the image is beautifully sharp, detailed and bright. I also took it outdoors and projected it on a wall and the image is really impressive. You can fill the side of your house with the video if you want and the projector actually also stayed connected to Wi-Fi really well even at a substantial distance from my router. When it comes to the battery life and charging you'll get two and a half hours of video playback, I think I said that earlier, with the built-in 14,500 milliamp hour battery or you'll get 10 hours of audio only use. You can also of course connect it to AC power for non-stop juice. The internal battery pack here does also have fast charging capabilities so you can give it an extra boost quickly if you need to. We've touched on a few of these points throughout this review but let's recap how this projector stacks up against the Samsung Freestyle. Both projectors are portable HD video projectors with built-in wireless streaming, a remote control, and while Nebula has an HDMI port for external connections, the Freestyle uses a mini HDMI. Nebula's speaker is 8 watts while the Freestyle is 5. Nebula has a built-in battery while Freestyle makes you pay extra for that. The Nebula is a bit slimmer than the Freestyle and they both offer similar brightness. Finally, when it comes to price, Anchor Nebula's retail price is $7.99 US while the Freestyle is $8.99 US and it requires you to pay extra if you want a battery option. When I reviewed the Samsung Freestyle, I called it almost perfect and I gave it four and a half stars. Now that I've tried it head to head with the Anchor Nebula here, I can say the Nebula improves on the Freestyle substantially. Overall, I have to say I'm impressed by the quality and features of this little wireless projector. 
The projector is very portable. It can create many different image sizes from small to wall filling. It comes with a built-in battery. It's bright, it sounds good, and it can be used as a portable speaker too. Plus it's a fun gadget for making a pop-up home theater anywhere. So what are the downsides? Well, the battery may not be long lasting enough for some uses, but since you can connect this device to AC power anytime, you can probably work around that. It may also be a bit heavy to carry on you since its weight is just under two pounds or 900 grams. Even so, these are minor things that don't detract from the overall usefulness of this projector. I can definitely recommend the Anchor Nebula to you.